Al Jazeera Soraya Leni is in the earthquake zone. She joins us now on the phone from the town of Aha. And Soraya, you've been traveling around the affected area. How bad is it? We have. We just uh, returned from a small village north of Aha called Daman Abad. There's probably about 300 people that live there. And from what we saw, we didn't, uh, we didn't travel around the entire area because obviously it's quite spread out, these kinds of rural villages. But the houses we did see were either quite badly damaged or had completely been razed to the ground. Um, what was left, uh, the villagers who, who still live there, now they've moved into Red Crescent tents. Red Crescent has obviously been um, out in that part of uh, northwestern Iran as part of its relief efforts. But these people have complained that although they have been given uh, water and food and, and tents, um, they feel like the, the aid effort has not been quite enough. Um, but perhaps that's just because obviously they've just lost everything. And people, are, I wouldn't say there's any kind of chaos or a feeling of chaos. It really is a feeling of calm in these sorts of villages because people really are in, in shock. Uh, a lady that we were speaking to had, had basically lost everything. She'd left her home literally with the clothes on her back, and that's all she had. And they were sifting through the rubble of their, uh, of their small house, uh, trying to recover anything. They'd lost all of their documents, all of their proof of identity, everything. So I think that that would be something that might uh, compound issues if people want to rebuild and, and, uh, and you know, talk to official uh, institutes and so on and so forth if they absolutely have no identification and things like that, which have been lost in this earthquake. And, and Soraya, are the rescue operations still continuing or are they focusing the efforts on trying to bring a, a, the survivors relief? We have just spoken to the Red Crescent and, uh, and they've reiterated that they've officially ended their recovery effort. But they have pointed out that they do have a presence in the affected area, certainly they do, and, and say that if they happen to find anyone alive, it would be an exceptional case. Uh, almost by chance. So, so effectively what they're saying is uh, the chances of finding anyone alive are, are slim. Um, and they're basing this on the fact that they have, uh, according to the Red Crescent, they've searched almost all of the areas that have been affected. And it is a, a quite a widespread area here in northwestern Iran. These are, as I mentioned, these are villages. This is uh, the major centers of Tabriz and Arzabil have escaped um, major damage. Businesses are going on as usual in these centres. It's just in the villages surrounding these uh, major centres where, where there is so much damage and um, where the loss of life really has been. Okay, Soraya. Thank you. Soraya Lenny there in the town of Aha in the earthquake zone.